Well, when a young elder gets called to serve a mission, he expects to be gone for two years. Dear Elder Aiken, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You reside to labor in the Mexico Leon mission. You anticipated you to serve for a period of 24 months. But what happens if that mission is interrupted due to illness? Elder Tanner Aiken shares his story. I'm Elder Aiken. I was serving in the Mexico Leon mission for a period of six months. I loved it, loved the people, loved all the elders that were, were down there. Really hardworking mission. It was a great mission. I had migraines before I went on the mission. I had mild headaches as well. They went away before, before I started the mission. And three months in, they, they started to come back, and you know, my first thoughts were, oh no, this, this might not be good. You know, it was debilitating, but you know, there also was a responsibility as a missionary. We, we still needed to go out and, and do track, so I just gave it my, my best effort, and I guess there was a point when I, when I just said, you know, this enough's enough, I guess. And I had talked to my mission president, and he told me to go to the medical staff. By the third doctor that I'd gone to, they, they couldn't find out what was, what was going on, and so they decided the best, the best option was to, to send me back to the, to the U.S. For, for medical care. I don't think there was a way really to prepare myself. You know, I just put my faith in the Lord, and you know, I obviously felt that the Lord had another plan for me. I was nervous, I was anxious, and you know, thinking about the people I'd see, what, what they would think. I was a little afraid. I had seen missionaries come home. I've had, I've had a couple friends that come home from the mission, and I've seen the transition for them that was, it was hard. I was really lucky. We have a great ward. They accepted me with, with open arms. And I think I received about 10, 15 phone calls from the members in the ward, you know, talking about specialists that I could go see for, for migraines and headaches. And, you know, it was just, it was really positive. I went to a doctor that was a specialist for migraines, and she, she gave me some great medicine that has been, has been helping out. And just exercising as well has really helped, helped out a ton. And it's been, it's been positive. I've just had, you know, the feeling that I need to get back out. I've learned that coming home, it's a tough experience. But also, when, I guess when we put our faith and trust in the Lord, He's, he's going to help us through, through anything we're going through. If I had any advice for, for any missionary that has come home for, for illness or, or whatever reason, is, you know, just keep putting your, your faith and, and trust in the Lord, and, you know, He'll, he'll be able to get, get you through it. And also maybe for, for the members as well um, of, a, of a ward that maybe has a missionary that, that has come home, that if they can just have their arms open to that missionary and, and really love them. I've been reassigned to the Spanish-speaking California Fresno mission, and I'm excited. I can't wait to, to be able to get back out and, and to serve, because I really want to be able to, to go back out and, and to teach in Spanish, because I, I love that. It really is just the greatest thing I think that we could be doing as young men and, and young women at this, at this age, is to be able to, to go out and serve our, our Heavenly Father. And I know that the Lord will, will help me and, and put me in the path which, which I need to go. Coming home was tough, but I, I knew that I had to make a promise to the Lord that if these medical problems would be solved, that I would go back out and finish this service for two years because the Lord's blessed me with, with so much. And we hear that Elder Aiken is enjoying his new area. He said one of the keys to his success in getting back out into the mission field was the support of family and ward members who helped him through those difficult times, and we wish him luck.